made it to the top. Give me a break, I'm looking forward. Get behind me, pull out every stop. I want a happy ending, I'm tired of pretending. Won't let them get the best of me. Whoa, 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 give me a break. The game is survival. Give me a break and plan my arrival. Give me a break. Oh, heaven's sake. What happened to my piece of the cake? Give me a break. Give me a break. Give me a break. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I beg you, plead with you, to give us the money that is so badly needed. Dad, if you need lunch money, I could loan you mine. I was talking about $25,000. I'll skip dessert. <laughs> hey, don't you look sharp, and I love the cat. Oh, thank you. I just had it cleaned and blocked. You look just like Mr. Wagner, the school crossing guard. <laughs> He's a sharp dresser for a retired garbage man. You don't like the cap? No, really, Dad. You look great. Except for the gravy stain. Gravy stain? Where? Gotcha. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye, honey. Oh, Dad, don't worry about your speech. If anyone tries to walk out, you can arrest them for leaving the scene of a crime. <laughs> My speech. I left it upstairs. Is this foremost plumbing? Yeah. Listen, I got a leak in my bathroom so bad that the roaches are baptizing each other. <laughs> what? D don't you put me on hold. <laughs> Damn, it's bad enough when the plumbers put you on hold, but do they have to play bridge over troubled waters? <laughs> Which do you think is better now? Mr. Mayor and members of the city council, good afternoon. Or good afternoon, members of the city council and Mr. Mayor. Open with a joke. Start with the mayor. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, yeah, I'll tell you what my problem is. For the past three weeks, you've sent the same stupid guy over here and my sink is still leaking. Well, I'm gonna have to wait for low tide just to find my toothbrush. <laughs> Wait a minute, don't put me... They put me on hold again. What do you think, Nell, when I'm delivering this speech? Should I keep my hand in my pocket or leave it free to, to gesture? Why don't you stick it in that bucket and go bail out my bathroom? <laughs> Forget the bathroom for a minute, will you? I gotta give this speech in 20 minutes before some very important people. Hello, yeah. No, no, I don't remember the workman's name. But I do remember on his arm there was a tattoo of an American eagle sitting on the john. <laughs> I don't want any excuses. Look, I don't care how busy you are. Now, would you mind getting that? Chief, if you want a doorman, move to the Ramada Inn. <laughs> would you get it, please? Hey, can't you see I'm busy? All right, all right, I'll get it. Thank you. Come in! <laughs> Good morning, sir. I'm Patrolman Simpson, your driver for today. Your car's waiting outside. Simpson, don't I know you? Yes, sir. I've been here before. And may I say it's still the same warm, cheerful family home. Thank you. When were you here? When I busted your daughter for shoplifting. Oh, yes, I remember you. Badge number seven. Same as your IQ. <laughs> I'll be right with you. I just gotta get my hat. Now, that's funny. I could swear I left it right here. All right. They had better be here sometime today. Oh, I'm gonna come down there and pull Drano down somebody's overalls. <laughs> now, did you see my dress uniform cap? I don't know. 
I had to go mop up the bathroom before trout season opens. Now forget the bathroom. I can't go to that luncheon without that tap. Oh, yeah, you gotta have something to keep the dandruff out of the soup. The regulations say I gotta have a tap. Now, where the hell is it? I know I left it down here someplace. Sir, an excellent technique for finding a lost object is trying to remember when you had it last. That's very good thinking, Simpson. Chief, really, I wait, got to... Wait, wait, huh? Now, the last time I had that cap was this morning. Very good, sir. Were you sleeping with it? <laughs> I came downstairs with that cap, and then I walked over here to the sofa, and then Katie come out and she kissed me goodbye. Oh, your daughter shoplifted your cap. <laughs> so now I remember. I went upstairs to get my speech, and I put the cap down right there. Anyone for a polyester pizza? <laughs> I'm sorry, I really am. Where were you sitting on my cap? I was hatching it. I said I was sorry, I really am. No, Dad. Not now, Samantha. Gee, it was an accident. How could you be so clumsy? Why don't you look before you sit? I do look before I sit. Do you see where I'm looking? <laughs> Not now, Samantha. We're going to be late for the luncheon, and I hate cold cream chicken. Not now, Simpson. I got into a fight. Just a minute, Samantha. Now, don't Not you now, Samantha. I can't go to that luncheon without that cap, and it's all your fault. Why are you scared to see the thin hair on that dickhead? <laughs> Andrea Grant called me a bad name. The least you could do is to offer to pay for it. Why? You can always use it as a hubcap. She hit me in the head with I a said stick, not now. But she called me a dumb polo. Now you listen to me. No, you listen to me. Listen to me. How would you like it if someone called you a nigger? <laughs> You're going to get the spanking of your life. <laughs> she locked the door. Samantha, you come on out here. And bring a mouthful of soap with you. She, she's just upset. You hear what she said? Yeah, but it doesn't require the death penalty. Samantha, get out here! Can you believe that? She's locked herself in the bathroom. She didn't even take anything to read. <laughs> Samantha! This is a last warning. Oh, Chief, why don't we give ourselves just a few minutes to calm down? We're getting all upset. I'm not upset. She's not my kid. Simpson, why don't you try to talk to her, huh? Maybe she'll come out for you. Oh, Chief, you're making a big deal out of nothing. Come on, give it a try. No, Chief, I don't know how to talk to kids. I'm not fond of them. I hate small, sticky people. <laughs> That's an order. All right. First, you gotta get down to their level. <laughs> Both physically and psychologically. Hello there. This is your friend Kermit the Frog. <laughs> you better come out of there, Mr. Snuffleupagus, and I have the place surrounded. I feel like a fool. I can see why. Little girl, why don't you be a nice kid and come on out of there now, huh? If you do, your father will give you an ice cream cone. Go ahead. Tell her you're going to give her an ice cream cone. Samantha, I'm taking off my belt. Sir, I don't think we're working together. <laughs> Samantha, I'm going to give you three seconds to open this door. All right, then we're going to break the door down. I couldn't help overhearing you're including me in this. Right. Chief, I have a better idea. I, I got a tear gas grenade in the car. Good. Suck on it. <laughs> a 
I'll break it down myself. Stand back. Chief, wait, wait. That won't be necessary. I'll get Samantha out of the bathroom. Oh, yeah? What have you got that two trained police officers don't have? The key. <laughs> Give me that don't key. You, don't you, you take one more step. I will drop this where only Harry Belafonte will find it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. See, she's gone. She went out through the open window. Since you left her. Right. Samantha! She took off in the squad car. I wonder how long Simpson can hold on to that rear bumper. I'm sorry, Chief. I had to let go. You know a dry cleaner who gets out skid marks? <laughs> All right, what we got to do is stay calm. The one thing we can't do is panic. I panic. She took that corner on two wheels. <laughs> Simpson, what the hell were you thinking about anyway, leaving the keys in the car? Oh, right. How stupid of me to think that the police chief's driveway would be a safe place. <laughs> I'm gonna call a station and have an APB put out on her. Chief, tell her, remember, she's a little girl to please be careful. Yeah, with the car, too, huh? I just had it washed. <laughs> Simpson, why don't you go in the kitchen and make yourself a tongue sandwich and use your own tongue? <laughs> I don't understand. Get lost. That clears it up. The man's brain is in solitary confinement. <laughs> Sergeant, this is Chief Kaniski. Put me through to Captain Lucchese. Dad, can I ask you a question? Uh, not now, Katie. I'm busy. It's really important. Well, what? What? Do you have any 14-year-old policewomen who wear braces? <laughs> Lucchese? Now listen carefully. Hi, everybody. Dad, how come our mailbox has black and white paint all over it? <laughs> Girls, I have something to tell you. Your sister stole your father's patrol car. Wow. That's the most exciting thing since we found out our home ec teacher was into leather. That's right. Dark hair, brown eyes, about four and a half feet tall. What's she wearing? She's wearing my police car. Pardon me? Pardon me, folks? What do you want? Hi, Fulmore's Plumbing. I hear you have water all over the floor in your john. Oh, yeah. Oh, could, could you come back a little later, please? That's right. I want an APB put out with that description. Come back? What happened to the emergency some crazed woman was hollering about? Do you have a monkey wrench in your toolbox? Sure, why? You might have to remove it from between your eyes, monkey. <laughs> Look, fella, beat it, will you? Can't you see we have a serious family crisis here? Whatever you say, Mac, but I'm gonna have to charge you for a service call. Fine. Wait a minute. How much is a service call? $35. Fix the faucet. <laughs> Okay, Lucchini, now as soon as you get anything, you call me at home here. Any questions? Who is this? <laughs> this is your chief, you baboon! <laughs> well, we gotta do some quick thinking. Any idea where Samantha would go in a police car? I know where I'd go. I'd find the cutest guy in school and handcuff him to the back seat. <laughs> Perhaps humor is inappropriate at this time. <laughs> Hey, Mac, what is this? Your bathroom door's locked. That's impossible. Yeah. <laughs> I'm entitled to a little privacy. I just don't understand. It's so unlike Sam to do a crazy thing like that. Yeah, what happened? So your father and I were arguing. Oh, we'll they... deal with that later. Right now, we gotta find that kid. Hey, Mac, can yeah. I ask you a question? Yeah, what, what? Why are there footprints on the windowsill of your bathroom? Maybe the tidy bowl man tried to make a break for it. Get out of here, will you? Both of you. <laughs> Hello? You found her, thank God. Is she okay? All right, I'll be right down. They found her. She's down at the station house. Nell, I want you to come along with me. Simpson? Simpson! 
Yes, sir. You like it? Yeah. I want you to stay right here in case the mayor calls and wants to know what's happened. Yeah, I can hardly wait to tell him. <laughs> well, just make sure you say the right thing. Or tomorrow you're going to be working with the police dogs as a chew stick. <laughs> All right, kid, you're waiting here until your father comes in. And no funny stuff. This ain't no wet behind the ears rookie you're dealing with. Just sit there and behave. Captain Lucchese? Don't you want the keys to the squad car? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and do me a favor. Don't tell your father. He'll yell at me. I'll get a headache. I know what you mean. Hi. Hello. I hope I haven't kept you waiting. No. I just got here. What are you doing here? Probably 30 days. <laughs> No? no, it's all coming back clear as a bell. And I wish that bell would stop ringing. <laughs> well, anyway, I was on the freeway and this cop just arrested me. Were you speeding? No, I was sleeping. <laughs> on the center divider. Mister? Yes? Do you smell oven cleaner? <laughs> oh, I guess that's me. <laughs> I drank a six-pack this morning. You know, you shouldn't drink. It's bad for you. I know. But I'm so good at it. <laughs> oh, did you hear about the excitement around here today? What excitement? Oh, this, this cop come running in. And he says, hey, the chief's daughter just took off with his squad car. <laughs> and then all the other cops went out front to look at the chief's face when he got back. <laughs> uh, my name is Bill Larkin. But you can call me what all of my friends call me. Bill. <laughs> Larkin. <laughs> Who are you? I'm the one who stole the squad car. Oh. <laughs> Did you get a chance to use the siren? Yeah, and it was really terrific. <laughs> I knew it would be. <laughs> Boy, is, you, is old Carl ever going to be mad at you? You know my dad. Oh, sure, we're very close. Would you like to see his footprint? <laughs> Larkin. Bill. Larkin. Bill. Yes? How come when a kid has a problem and a grown-up has a problem, the grown-up never listens to the kid? Well, you see, grown-ups think kids have nothing to say. And kids think grown-ups have nothing to say. Well, what do you think? I've got nothing to say. You know something, Bill? What? You're weird. But cute. Thanks for talking to me. No, oh, you're welcome. And look, uh, take it easy on your father. You know, it's, it's tough being a grown-up. I've been trying for years. <laughs> I haven't made it yet. He's right in here, Chief. Samantha, you all right? Yes. Hello, Chief. <laughs> well, Chasey, what the hell is he doing in here? Uh, I kind of misplaced him. I guess I better be going. It was nice talking to you. You too, Bill. Bill? Yeah. We'll have to have lunch sometime. Sure. All right, move it. 
You know, you really must learn how to put these on correctly. <laughs> Samantha, I can't believe that you did this. I just can't believe it. Gee, let's not lose our temper. Remember how this whole thing got started? All right, let's go. We'll settle this at home. No! I don't want to go home. Nobody listens to me at home. Well, Samantha, that's not true. We were just busy, that's all. Right. Doing what? Arguing. Right. Over what? You sat on my cap. <laughs> Samantha, you were wrong, honey. But this is our fault, too. We were so busy fighting over your dumb cap that we didn't listen to the child. You did not even hear her. I heard. I heard what she said. And I don't ever want to hear that word again. I'm sorry. I assume the word you're talking about is nigger. I just said I don't ever want to hear that word. Well, dream on, Carl Kaniski. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Oh, come on, Chief. Let's not kid ourselves. You're going to hear that word again. She's going to hear it. And Lord knows I'm going to hear it again. The word does exist. Well, I don't like it. Well, it's not one of my old-time favorites either. <laughs> well, come on, let's not give the word any more power than it already has. Chief, you and I both know some people can use the word nigger with malice and it can be ugly and hateful. But then again, two black people can use it with love and it can be beautiful. Honey, it's really just a word. Now, I didn't mean anything bad by what I said. Oh, Samantha, I know you would never say anything to hurt me. Come here. I want to apologize to you, too, because I didn't listen. Well, Chief? Yeah? Aren't you sorry, too? For what? <laughs> How about for losing your temper and scaring this poor child half to death? Well, maybe I did kind of hit the ceiling. How about the roof, the attic, and three planes passing over here? <laughs> Samantha, I apologize. Me too. And I'm sorry I took the squad car. Yeah, well, we'll get to that when we get home. Well, why don't you just arrest me and put me in the slammer? Well, I would, but I forgot to read you your rights. And some judge would have you back out on the street in 10 minutes. Hey, now that everybody is sorry, why don't we go home? Dad, can I ask you a question before we go? Sure, honey. And this time, I promise you I'll pay attention. Can I drive home? Mm. <laughs>